Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today what I want to talk about is a common a condition that we see in our office that's usually associated with about 10 or 15 other problems the patient has, but hamstring tightness or pain, chronic hamstring problems. Now, a lot of people who are active, whether they're runners, athletes, swimmers, believe it or not, people that walk a lot, um, they're more prone to this because they're stressing the musculoskeletal system uh, more than someone who has a desk job. But chronic hamstring problems may be coming from a place that you would never look or think to look. Uh, and that's the upper cervical spine. And let me just explain to you how the hamstring is intimately uh, related from a neurology, neurology standpoint to the upper cervical spine. We've talked about in a lot of our other videos about how C1 and C2 houses the brainstem, which is that guy, right? So that red area here is the brainstem. And among other things, it controls postural muscle tone. So when someone sustained injury to the upper neck, and that can come from a number of different things from car accidents, sports injuries, uh, and different blunt type traumas, what that can do is cause the upper neck vertebra to lock out of position, damage the soft tissue, and when it gets locked out of position, it irritates the brainstem, and one of the areas that the brainstem controls is postural muscle tone. So, this chart here, the upper cervical spine, sh it, this chart here shows that the upper cervical spine has a global impact on the structure and posture of the body. I don't know how clearly you can see it, but basically what happens, when the upper neck misaligns and locks, the muscle tone on one side of the neck compared to the other becomes tighter and it pulls the head off center. And usually one side of the shoulders is higher than the other. And then what we often find is the shoulder that's high, the opposite pelvis is high. So why does this happen? Why does one the head get off center? Why does one shoulder creep up compared to the other? And one why does one opposite side of the pelvis become higher than the other? Because the muscles become imbalanced. And so when the muscles become imbalanced, that causes a whole chain reaction through the spine. And one of the things that happens is the hamstring on the side that the pelvis is high typically becomes tighter compared to the other side. Now you won't find this always because the body adapts in a, a number of different ways. But what we find is people who have chronic hamstring problems, often they're coming from a misalignment in the upper neck and if you can get that structural misalignment in the neck back under the body's control and get the pressure off the spinal cord that allows the symmetry and the muscles to become more balanced in the um, imbalances in the muscle tone as they start to balance out when the person goes and walks long distances or runs um, the stresses that are being put on the structure of the body they're more balanced and they're less apt to have unilateral problems. So, like I tell my patients, what, do you just have one bad hamstring? Do you have one bad trapezius muscle? Is one shoulder bad, not the, not the other? Does one hip wear out and not the other? Why does that happen? And really what it comes down to in most cases is this upper neck area and how it influences the structure of the body. So what do we do? Regardless of whether someone comes in with low back problem, hip problem, hamstring problem, fibromyalgia, headaches, post-concussion syndrome, foggy headedness, sleep trouble, anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be, whatever the symptom may be. Why? Because I tell patients symptoms are effects of the body not working right. So in our office, our goal is to find out, A, do you have a structural problem in the neck? B, which bone is it? Is it C1? Whoops, that's upside down. Is it C1? Is it C2? Those are most commonly misaligned vertebra in the spine because the head's a bowling ball. It's 10 to 12 pounds and it sits on this poor little two ounce bone. And that two ounce bone is susceptible to injury as we go through life and it's usually not just one injury. But if you've had an injury and that vertebra is locked out of position, we want to know how, how is it out of position? What direction? And we do that by taking very precise imaging that looks at how the joints fit and how they're built. And once we have that information, we can deliver a force into the segment to set it back under the body's control and then we'll monitor the patient to make sure that it's maintaining. Now, once that vertebra that has been locked that's impacting the cord that caused the body to structurally become imbalanced gets back where it should be, the body will go through a um, straightening process under its own 
direction. In other words, we're not straightening you. We're just getting rid of the interference and the body naturally will go through this postural straightening process under its own control. And so if you're one of these people who's suffering from chronic hamstring problems and you've done massage and you've done stretching and you've done yoga and you've been to regular chiropractic, um, we do offer a free consultation and exam in the office. You can come in, it runs 45 minutes, we'll run you through a battery of tests, go over your history, give you a deeper explanation about what upper cervical care is. And then at the end of all that information, you can decide uh, whether you want to go through with care or not. So we have two offices, one's in the Carson, South Bay, Torrance area, and that phone number is 310-324-6172. And we have another office in Los Angeles, and that office number is 213-399-7772. If you're outside the Los Angeles area, you can call either one of those numbers, and we'll be happy to find you an upper cervical doc in your area uh, that's qualified to help. Thanks for listening.